So, yeah. I, I do like that rather fortuitously, my character is all in blue, which is exactly what I'd want him to be. <laughs> Blue's for losers. Orange rocks. Well, fine then. You can have your side of the continent, and I'll take mine. <laughs> we'll draw a line in turrets and walls down the middle. Fine, and you get all the aliens on your side. I'm sure there'll be better company. <laughs> Anyways, hello everyone. I'm William Strife, and this is my friend, Lying Bedman. How you doing, Lying? Well, apparently we're having our first marital tiff, and we've only been on this planet for about five minutes, but other than that, we're good. You were the one who ate the last, like, gummy packet back on the spaceship. It's fine. This, this is... I'm sure the oh aliens will have something approaching that. This is gonna be painful. I forget how to play Factorio already. How do how do I make a freaking pick? I need a pick so badly. Oh, good. I started out with what I needed to make a pick. Okay, that works. So if if you guys don't know what we're doing here, we're playing Factorio. It's um it's a small indie game. Fantastic. Lots of fun. Pretty simple. You uh, you've crash landed on a planet, uh, and now your goal is to get off the planet. Plain and simple. A story and, is old um, this time. Yep, so you gotta try to get off the planet, and to do that you have to basically create this big automation system. So this right here is a, is a, it's a mining drill, it runs on coal, and it's got that little arrow above it when I hover over it. Well, it's gonna go ahead and spit everything out into, into this crate, so there we go. Yeah, that's how it works. And the first thing that we are really interested in getting is a whole freaking ton of iron, because that is the only material required to make conveyor belts. Is it? And from there we go into the rabbit hole. Uh, it'll be the rabbit. I mean, look on the bright side. We've got this huge desert just out in front of us. Gonna have to do some a fair amount of deforestation though. A little bit, a little bit. But we don't really have to go anywhere. I have to say, it's rare to find stone in such abundance for me. I always seem to find it in tiny pockets. Oh my God, this has got to be the biggest coal field I've ever seen. Believe me. That is huge. Sue the dinosaur must have passed away here. <laughs> oh boy. And um, I suppose this huge iron deposit was um, the big old meteor that just kind of crashed down and killed her? Probably. <laughs> okay, well. Um, so here's a good question. Do we want to go for... Can we... Do we have electric miners? Yeah, we have electric miners right off the bat, so... Yeah, we just have to craft them is the problem. How, ma how many how many of these freaking like, st uh, coal-burning miners do we want to go for? Do we want to just try to bypass them and go straight for the electric ones? Well, we or... probably want to try and automate getting some iron and some coal together and actually smelting them, because otherwise it'll be a huge drag. Stuff. I noticed you've actually got the thing set down here to create coal, but you haven't actually fueled the thing getting the coal. Ah, uh, you know, that's actually the way that I tend to play it. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't... It's like, whatever, man, it's got some coal in it, it doesn't really need to... Like... It, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Mainly because before long you can just go ahead and throw a stack of coal in there. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really used to running logistic systems. I mean, I'm, I'm, like, this is basically tumbling down the rabbit hole of Minecraft, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. As soon, basic, for me, that, that point usually starts as soon as I find my first bit of redstone, and then things get wild. <laughs> yeah, let's pick these things up. <clears throat> okay, so... Slowly inching my way towards the coal field. I should have built this closer. Oh, well. Well, I mean... When, when it works, I can move it wherever I like. There we go. Okay, I've got more coal coming in. Hopefully that'll that'll work faster, and the more coal that we get in, the faster we'll be able to expand to copper and stuff. So how many how many resources were in this game? It was it was coal. Well, the the f we've got the uh, the primary ones around here. Stone doesn't come up much, but it's important. Coal is massively important, especially when you're smelting stuff. But other than that, it's mostly iron and copper. After that, there's some oil, but that's a bit later down the road. Yeah, but I mean, I'm I'm like I'm not. Am I forgetting something? It's just it should just be those one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it should just be five resources, unless I'm forgetting something, right? 
I mean, water, I guess, technically counts. Yeah, but you don't ever regard... deplete it, so you just find a small puddle of it and you're fine. I'll admit, you know, it's got that Minecraft mechanic of like, yep, just a tiny bit lasts forever. Honestly, it's a strange day in hell whenever I don't end up making some kind of complicated hopper-based uh, auto-smelter in Minecraft. Complicated auto-hopper-based system. I mean, I don't know. I mean, hoppers don't exactly get that complicated. Then again, I saw some of the stuff that you were doing way back in Chaosville. <laughs> I mean, well, actually, I didn't see it. I remember Dave was telling me about it, something about, like, trying to automate the functionality of witchery with redstone. Yep, that I did. That was... that was something a little bit above and beyond that I was not expecting. That was the easy thing, if anything. Because, like, Wit Witchery has its own, like, little item holder things that everything interacts with, so all you have to do is just shove some kind of item conveyor into it. Here, I have to actually have inserters. Okay, I've got a couple of more iron plates. Now, let's build, um... Unfortunately, we can't just straight upgrade the electrics, so... Ugh. It's a question of, do we make the, burning, the burner mining drills and then replace them, or do we just try and get the electrics? Because to get, to get the electrics, we need to start up a whole new mining operation over in the copper. Um, I've got one... I've got one drill over here. I've got one. It'll do for now. Go ahead and just... pop that down. And... Well, that's weird. Do you have a spare, uh... furnace? Uh, nope, but they're dirt cheap. Almost literally, they only make so. Why the heck do we only have one furnace? I thought it- I, what? I'm confused. Did you not start with one? Yeah, I did start with one. Pretty sure I started with one. Where the heck did it go? That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have one in my inventory, so I don't know. Well, well, I don't have one in my inventory. Where'd the extra furnace go? Okay, now I've got one. All right. Okay, good enough. Thanks. Now, if I just work on the iron over here, and you work on the copper over there, should we compare how our systems look in the end of this? Let's not turn this into a competition. <laughs> We're supposed to be working together. <laughs> ah, so what you're saying is, you'll lose. What I'm saying <laughs> is that my coal system is servicing your setup already, instead. Well, I can make that, like, split out, eventually. Just, 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 listen, we're not competing. We're not competing. That's the important part here, okay? I'm just, I'm just gonna get myself some wood. Gotta, you know, get ready to build up those power lines. Oh yeah. Power to the people. Power to the machines. I'm just trying to figure out how I can keep refueling this mining drill right now. I like how you're so focused on the automation of, like, the real, real basic stuff we're going to rip up in no time. It, it's my special interest, what can I say? Alright, I got one pump on the way. Mm, while I'm at it... I'll make a series of... Power lines. Okay, here we go. Power lines up and running. So, do you have the, uh... Do you have the thing I'm about to... The steam engine? Yeah, the steam engine. Here. Yes, I do. Put it right in there. There we go. One steam engine. Just need enough stone to build some boilers. <laughs> okay. Oh, the, pi the the pinch. The pinch right now is so real. Uh, the good news is I can make one electric mining drill, so... I having, I having no copper have no such option. Well, I mean, there should be more than enough copper over in the, uh, the furnace. That I set up. I mean, I've... I'm, 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 I'm slowly running out of copper, but, you know, a little bit at a time here. This baby. Yep. Well, at least the iron's automated, that's something. 
I mean, it's only got one drill and it's only using one furnace, but it's automated, so hey, that's something. Well, it, it, it's better than nothing, right? It is definitely better than nothing. Okay, so let's get this baby set up. There we go. Go. I can never quite make out what it is that we're carrying on our backs. It always seems to look like at least some part of it is a guitar to me. <laughs> a like guitar? We, like, like we grabbed the most impo the most like emotionally important thing from the wreckage and it just happens to be like our guitar from college that we still don't actually know how to play, but we like to believe we can. <laughs> Reminding me of some of the old videos on YouTube about like you, uh, you know, your wonderful roommate there, like, whenever you make your dorm room tour video. God, fucking... Some of the terrible things that came out of YouTube back in the early days. There's there's a lot of terrible stuff still on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Occasionally, I make some of it. Alright. We've got more than enough power to run that baby now. Yep. We just have to worry about, like powering everything that it's powering. Yeah, pretty much. So, I don't know. I guess we can just let the uh, line back up, in a way. I mean, by the way that this system is built up right now, it just has to back up. Well, I mean, I don't know about you, but I really like it whenever the, the, the systems that I have back up, because that way it, it means that I don't have any shortages. That being said, I might also not have a very efficient system, but... <clears throat> Let's not focus on that part of it, eh? Give me all of the coal. You're just stealing it right out of that burner's mouth. Yes, exactly. I'm gonna steal all of the coal from this thing, and I'm also gonna steal the frickin' iron from it as well, and I'm gonna make a second mining drill, because we desperately need a second mining drill. Speaking I... of which, do you have any more, uh, belts? <laughs> <laughs> I have two belts, but I do have another mining drill. Where do you want it? Really? You've got another mining drill? Because <laughs> I already built one. <laughs> How dare you? Why'd you do that? Now you have their mi now you have the mining areas overlapping. That's fine. I mean, it's, it's, it's still gonna grab all the stuff. Plus, it's more space nope. efficient. Nope. Nope. I am. Uh, I am. I am. I am not allowing this. Oh, I don't want to exhaust the poles. field faster. <laughs> I'm gonna make as many of these freaking mining, uh, these little conveyors as I can. There. Bingo. Okay. We now have three mining drills running. This will be enough to get the, uh, the boilers. Fed, on, uh, at least. On full tick. Well, I mean... The biggest problem right now, uh, the biggest problem we're gonna have is the logistics of getting coal back to the frickin' boilers to actually power the system. Yeah, if we had a splitter, we could shuffle it off, but that requires that we actually start research. Let's, let's, let's not have such a tall order so early. I mean, we have a backing up conveyor full of a lot more coal than we're actually using right now, so I think tall orders might be in the business. Whatever. I mean, I don't even, like, I, I, I don't even know if we're on the, still on the first episode. I'm just gonna sit here and record for however long we need to. 